right back with a part two of this video. What is the rest of this message for the spirit for this collective? See, you are out here, you're enjoying life, you're living in a good vibration. You know, you're just living in the moment, and this person is stagnant. They're, they're lacking motivation, they're making excuses. They want to come in here and they want to pull at your heartstrings because they know that you want that special bond, that love. But baby, they reminiscing on the past. That's some old news. You're very guarded and defensive and hesitant. Could be with a twin flame energy. Baby, you're focusing on that rich mindset, that financial freedom, that business mindset, right? You have to reconsider that this shit is not for you. It's not going to work, and you know it ain't, with this the masculine, okay? They're going to try to come in and give you some flowers or some type of appreciation. But, baby, they've been running around like a free agent. You know how them ones work, and they don't got to get drafted to any type of certain team. They work who they want to. Well, this person been running around, screwing around every time, didn't Harry? Because they've been running around like a free agent, baby. You're telling it brutally honest, straightforward. They can take that shit from face value. You got some type of violence, uh, animosity, disagreement. They're anticipating making a move, okay? Because they see you out here making, you got this money, this business mindset. You're making money moves, okay? They had you in a third party, a karmic cycle, other people, affairs. What is the message for the collective? See, you, they're like, who is this person, man? They're not the same old person. They're, they're this new person, they're healing, and they're saying good riddance to my ass, and what they're trying to do is hold you up. They're trying to delay you from getting your money and the luxury and the fine, you know, the, they're trying to get you caught up, that's what it is. They, they got somebody sneaky, okay, yeah, but you're focused, yeah, they got some type of karma, plotting, they're trying to plot some type of revenge, um, some type of payback, right? They're wanting you to revisit, give something another chance. They're wanting to whine and die on you and take you out and be consistent. But baby, you focus on what's important, what's in, uh, what's important, what's essential, what is a priority. You're being an adult, you're taking care of your responsibilities, you know, taking care of your challenges, and uh, they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. That could be, could be some traveling going on. Um, but yeah, you're tweeting something, so you're posting something online, you're an open book, you ain't got no shame in your game. And you're trying to reach that financial freedom. They're wanting to come in and why they're wanting to take you off the market, like marry you, because but they're a scam artist or a fraud. They are a fucking deceit, and they want to put you in the friend zone. This person has got some anger emotions, baby. They doing shit very impulsive and emotionally in charge because they can't think. They're trying to create these blockages and these interferences and these failed attempts. Uh, but you're releasing it. This person is getting some type of receipts or some type of tough love that's coming to somebody because they're being mature and reckless and childish. Somebody's definitely watching you on your social media. Be careful with your inner circle, your family, your something. Yeah, this is this person think they better, right? They thought they had honcho like you wasn't going to replace them. But maybe let me tell you something. There's a real ways away. Somebody's ass needs to go. What is the message for this spirit? This person is going to go to no limits. They're going to keep on. This narcissistic energy, they're going to keep on because they're spirituality hater. They're trying to mess with your energy. They've been trying to drain it. They've been trying to create blockages, but now they're stressed. Now they got money problems. They're feeling trapped in their situation and their circumstance because they betrayed you. They was disloyal. Now you're focusing on your 10th house. You got going towards your ambition, your goals, your achievements, and now they're mad and they're upset. Be very careful when it comes to partnerships because the truth is coming out. Some karma is coming out too because of some type of evidence here. You're parting ways with this person. This person is wanting to be more than friends. But this person is feeling very mentally trapped. You're going on your purpose. They got you, had you in a third party situation, right? You stay in this high vibration, baby, because you're about to be balling. You're about to be living a luxurious lifestyle. Your pocket's about to be full. This person feels like you're ignoring them. They see that you got your confidence back, baby. This is a deranged, twisted ass individual. So be mindful. And it was all one sided. See, you're out here chilling, you're at peace. And they're jealous of that, and they're envious, and they're out here fake, and they're out here talking shit, um, just because they want to be in control of things. But you're grown, you ain't got time to play this person's fucking games, you ain't got time to play none of it. What's the message? Yeah, you took some time out from this individual, you had to create some distance, okay, that's what you had to do. But you're out here, you're creating something that you love. You're loving yourself, you know, and it's with the right intention, but you got to be careful of temptation and deception because it's holding you back. They're trying to project this energy on you to hold you back and 
keep you and you're feeling restricted yourself. They want you to be guarded and vulnerable. But baby, you're taking a leap towards your opportunities because you're going through an awakening. And you're just focused on gratitude. And uh, yeah, you're going through growth. And this person is stuck in their ego and their pride. Very vain. Very, very vain. What is the message? This person is shattered. There could have been a workplace affair and that you got fed up with. You got fed up with their shit. You started loving yourself, self-love. You're sitting here wishing, now this crazy psycho ex don't want to let you go, okay? They're going to come in and pop the question. <laughs> but they're phony. They're a trickster. They're trying to sell you a damn fairy tale. Baby, they could have went out and had a child with somebody else because they got a sex addiction. Or they got their wingman, their best friend, their partner in crime, sitting here covering up for them, lying for them. But baby, you're secure, you're confident, you are a boss bitch, okay? Um, you're just living in the moment. And you're turning your back on this. And you got a side hustle, baby, and my ears ring. You're cutting these karmic ties. Um, and when it comes to this divine masculine, they feel like shit right now. Okay? That, that cause you some type of heartbreak. They got to have got some type of STD. Going to be some shocking news. Shocking news is coming. This is shocking. Oh, yeah, the shock is the STD. And that's justice, right? That's justice for them. The scales is balancing out because they want to give you all that mixed signal. And they want to sleep around. Pay attention to the signs, the red flags. Karma is coming. It's taking ass. It's taking notes. It's kicking ass. Funeral. If somebody sending some type of, um, you know, negative energy somewhere, somebody uh, could be attending a funeral. So it's too late. This cycle is definitely closing out because they was a real jackass. They're going to try to come in and sweet talk you, but all they done was stab you in the back. They're not happy. They're not happy. They're sad, you know. Um, but, yeah, you're definitely closing this cycle. They feel up underneath a lot of anxiety and pressure. They feel like the time is running out because you're going towards a fresh start. That's what you're doing. you got an opportunity or a windfall coming. you got great good fortune. Um, that news is on the way, too. It's going to be traveling. It's coming quick. What's the message for the collective? Yeah, you're very optimistic. Oh, no, this person is very opinionated, very compulsive, like a perfectionist, uh, illogical, controlling, obsessive. Um, you're being divinely guided, so you need to stay aligned. You know, this person is risk reckless. They're selfish. They overestimate, right? The ability. They don't know when to hold them and when to fold them. Maybe they just don't know when to stop. They misjudge people's capabilities. Okay? Photographs. Somebody could be wanting to communicate their feelings. But they're full of empty promises. You know, they're letting the superficial, easy path be persuaded and get them vulnerable. You could expect a surprise. Okay? Um, they got this old school always a thinking you're about to start fresh you're about to have a good life ahead of abundance um, illumination of negative thoughts good health purification compliments and um, you're letting go of love you know for right now you're coming to the end of the cycle this magic baby that they're doing you're figuring this shit out intuitively you know what they're doing because they want control but they ain't got to control baby because spirit is going you just need to stay awake Stay awake in the midst of this shit. For real, for real. What's the message? You got some crazy motherfuckers to start. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, you're guaranteed success. You got hope, recognition, spirituality, right? This person, you know, you've had a lot of sadness and pain, and maybe you blocked some uh, emotions. What you're doing is you're shedding the old and you're birthing the new. Um, there could be some overindulgence going on. But the Seven of Cups, they're trying to create some type of confusion because the Seven of Swords is lies and cheating and trickery going on. Why? Because the Six of Wands, they say you're going towards victory, success, recognition, Three of Wands. You're moving forward. You're, you're broadening your horizons, Virgo. You're going within, doing soul searching. You are the magician. Okay? You are very creative. And what they're doing is they're sitting back watching you. Very curious. Because the Ten of Pentacles, baby, you're about to be hitting some lump sum. That shit going to be coming up in. And the devil, Capricorn, baby, they're obsessed with you. They got all kinds of fight and conflict going on. The justice is coming. They're going to try to come in here and offer you something. It could be a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You need to close out the cycle with this individual. Okay? The Hierophant and the Empress. That's a godly card, right? You got a lot of knowledge, right? The Empress is somebody's very creative. But the moon is here. So pay attention to your uh, emotions and the way you feel because the wheel is here. All that shit they've been sending in the moon cycle, who temperance is being balanced back, back at you. And now they got this anxiety and this fear and they can't cope a lot because big changes is coming in. You got these new opportunities, baby, and you are protected. You're standing your ground. And judgment is here. 
They get judged for this. Why? Because they refuse to compromise. They just had to be the last one standing. But baby, let me tell you something. The universe is the last one standing. Uh, somebody's attacking you. And you know this, right? I gotta go, y'all. Bye.